Hello, I'm Carly Dearborn, archivist for the Ohio Public Policy Archives, which includes the John Glenn Archives. And today I'm in Page Hall, home to the John Glenn College of Public Affairs on the campus of The Ohio State University. Throughout Page Hall, you'll find exhibit cases featuring items from the John Glenn Archives. This series of videos will explore the documents and treasures featured in the ground floor exhibit cases. I hope you enjoy. In April 1959, NASA chose John Glenn as one of the seven Project Mercury astronauts out of an original pool of 508 test pilots. Glenn was to pilot the first orbital flight by a U.S. astronaut. Originally scheduled for December 1961, weather and technical problems caused 10 postponements of Glenn's spaceflight. Finally, on February 20th, 1962, Glenn launched into space at 9.47 a.m. aboard his Friendship 7 spacecraft. Over the course of the next four hours and 56 minutes, Glenn flew between 160 and 256 kilometers above the Earth's surface at a rate of more than 28,000 kilometers per hour. After completing three orbits of Earth, Friendship 7 splashed down safely into the Atlantic Ocean near Grand Turk Island in the Bahamas. Although an overall success, John Glenn's time in space was not without incident or suspense. After the first orbit, the spacecraft's automatic control system failed and Glenn spent the remaining two orbits on manual control. Towards the end of the flight, a warning light, which turned out to be a false alarm, indicated a loose heat shield on Friendship 7. A damaged heat shield could result in the disintegration of the spacecraft during the 3000 degree heat of re-entry. To cope with the perceived problem, technicians decided to keep the retro rocket pack attached to the heat shield to help secure it. The result was what Glenn called a real fireball as the pack burned away during his re-entry through the atmosphere. The Friendship 7 spaceflight came at a time of increased Cold War tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union. The orbital flights of astronauts Yuri Gagarin and Hermann Titov in 1961 placed the Soviets ahead of the U.S. in the space race. In keeping with NASA's policy of openness, the major networks broadcast the Friendship 7 launch live on television to millions of people around the world. With the world watching, the success of his spaceflight made John Glenn an instant national hero. During the week of celebrations following the flight, President John F. Kennedy awarded Glenn NASA's Distinguished Service Medal, and Glenn gave a speech to a joint session of Congress. Glenn and his family rode in four parades in eight days, including the biggest ticker tape parade in New York history. The Friendship 7 spaceflight put America back in the space race and created a legacy that followed John Glenn throughout his subsequent careers. I hope you enjoyed touring the exhibit space and learning more about the lives of John and Annie Glenn. If you'd like to learn more, we invite you to visit the archives and the exhibit here at the John Glenn College of Public Affairs on Ohio State's campus. Until then, you can visit the archives online at go.osu.edu slash John Glenn Archives, where you can explore the collection through digitized oral history interviews, photographs, and artifacts. <laughs>